Hi class, a pleasant day to all of you. This is your Prof. Sir Dan. And in this video, we are going to discuss the lesson on inventory systems. So first class, let us discuss the methods of costing cost of goods sold. Costing of cost of goods sold is transferring the cost from inventory, which is an asset account, to cost of goods sold, an income statement account. Okay? And then class, there are three primary inventory costing methods used by modern businesses. The one they use depends on their industry or what works best for them. Whichever method they choose must remain in place year after year. Okay, the reason so is that because accounting has a consistency principle, so the method used on year one should also be the method used in year two. So class, the three methods are first, the first in, first out, the FIFO method. First in, first out, or FIFO method is a method in which the cost of inventory produced and acquired first are also sold or used first. So it means class, the uh, first uh, cost of inventory is also the first that will be used in the costing. So using FIFO assumes that an income statement's cost of goods sold includes assets with the oldest cost. When this occurs, you match remaining inventory assets to those that the company recently purchased or produced. When using FIFO, the cost of goods sold is computed. Cost of oldest inventory times amount of inventory sold. So here, class, we are trying to dispose first or, or uh, cost the cost of goods sold based on the uh, oldest uh, cost, okay? Next class, the next method is last in, first out, which is LIFO. Last in, first out, or LIFO is a method that records recently produced items as sold first. So the cost of the recently produced item will be the cost of the goods that you are going to sell. It expenses the cost of recent products purchased first as cost of goods sold and reports the lower cost of older products as inventory. Plus, normally, the older the cost is, the higher. Siyempre, tumataas yung presyo ng mga cost natin. So that's why, in normal situation, the cost of uh, recent products is much higher than compared with the old product. When using life or the cost of goods all is computed, cost of most recent inventory times amount of inventory sold. Next class is the weighted average. Weighted average or weighted average cost, acronym WAC, is a method that determines the amount that goes into cost of goods sold and inventory through the use of a weighted average. Using this method involves dividing the cost of goods sold by the number of units available, okay? When using the weighted average, compute the weighted average cost and then compute the cost of goods sold. So you have to compute first the weighted average cost per unit, which is the cost of goods available, which is your inventory, divided by units available. So now, in computing the cost of goods sold, the weighted average cost per unit times the unit sold. Okay. Class, we will explain these uh, methods of costing uh, using the, uh, the accounting equation. So let us first illustrate the FIFO costing method. 
and uh, we will just use the accounts that we will be needing in the illustration. We will just be using the inventory account, the sales account, and the cost of goods sold. Assuming that this is our inventory, it means that our oldest is on January, which is 35 units on February. Next inventory is 35 units and on March, 40 units. And this is the cost per unit. Okay, so here the number of units times the cost per unit will give you the value of your inventory. It's so the total uh, value of the inventory for 100 units is 581,000. Now, assuming that we sold 80 units of these 100 units, so normally you are going to uh, have a selling price higher than the cost. So assuming, so this is now where your pricing will come in. This will be discussed in the, during the final period, the pricing, okay? So we will at this time use only the basic pricing method, which is the markup. Markup is an application of a certain percentage from the cost, okay? So now what cost out of this we are going to use to apply the 40%? We have three costs. Normally, what is being used for pricing is the highest cost. So here the highest cost is 6,000. So now 6,000, uh, we will apply the 40% so that we will have 140% now to determine the uh, sales. So 6,000 times 140% times 80,000, the number of units that we have sold. So we'll give you 672,000. So this will be our sales for 80 units at 40% markup using the highest cost of 66,000. So in this case, if we uh, sold it all in cash, our entry would be debit to cash of 672,000 and credit sales of 672,000. Now, since we have sold already 80 units so we will remove the 80 units from the inventory and this is uh, wh where we will be needing the costing method if we will use a FIFO method so we have to cost this 80 units under FIFO so meaning the first in first out so we are going to use the cost of the first or the oldest uh, inventory, the cost of that. So in this case, 35 units will be costed at 5,800, so that will be 203,000. Since we are uh, we sold 80 units, so 35 units is not enough, so we will have to calculate the other units, 25 units at 6,000, so that will be 150,000. And uh, the remaining, we already have here, 35 plus 25, so that's 60. So the remaining 20 units will be costed at 5,700. So 20 times 5,700 will give you 114,000. So in under FIFO method, our uh, cost of goods sold is 467,000. So if we will present, assuming that this is all what we have, and if we will present our income statement, we have a sales of 672,000. Oh, by the way, this will be our entry. We are removing the inventory. So the entry will be debit cost of goods sold, 467,000, and inventory, 467,000. So here, if these are all our, if this is the only transaction that we have, so our and our uh, uh, income statement will be presented like this. We have sales of six hundred seventy-two thousand, and then cost of goods sold of four hundred sixty-seven thousand. Under the FIFO method, our cost of goods sold is four hundred sixty-seven thousand. So we have a gross profit of two hundred five thousand. Okay. Now let us look at the next. Uh, costing method which is LIFO. 
So our next casting method is LIFO. We have double LIFO here. So let us illustrate that. This is, so these are the same inventory that we have, except that uh, it is a LIFO method. And uh, we will assume that we also have sold 80 units and we will retain the 40% markup. And then we have the sales at 672,000 still. Now, we are going to use uh, 80 units using LIFO. So now, the last in should be the first cost that we are going to use. So meaning March of 40 units at 5,700. So that will be 228,000. Next, February 25. February for 25 units rather at 6,000 so that will be 150 so here we have 40 plus 25 that will be 65 and we have sold 80 so the 15 units now will be costed at 5,800 so that will be 15 times so 5,800 will give you 87,000 so the cost using LIFO is 465,000, the cost of 80 units. So the entry would be debit cost of goods sold, 465,000, credit inventory, 465,000. And then, assuming that this is all what we have again, so our sales of 672,000 and the cost of goods sold at LIFO is 465,000. Okay. So our gross profit is 207000 under the life of method. Okay, next is we are going to illustrate now the weighted average cost. Similarly, the inventory that we have is, are still the same, same data. Since that this is a weighted average, we have first to compute the weighted average cost per unit so doing that this amount divided by 100 units so with this uh, we can determine the uh, weighted average cost per unit by dividing 581,000 by 1,000 will give you 5,810 so now the cost of your 80 units if you have sold 80 units we have the same still uh, still the same uh, assumption on our sales, we still use a 40% markup. And then uh, this is our entry. And now for the cost of goods sold, for the 80 units using weighted average, we will multiply the 80 units by the weighted average. So our cost of goods sold is 464,800. So our entry is the is debit cost of goods sold 464,800 and credit inventory 464,800 and again assuming that these are the transactions that we have for the period so our sales is 672,000 then invent to, uh, I'm sorry cost of goods sold of 464,000 under uh, weighted average cost then you have your gross profit at 207,200 okay class we have discussed only three methods, but there are companies using the fourth method. And this is what you call high fall. Highest in, first out, meaning the highest cost that should be uh, considered first in the costing. Highest in, first out. So this is what we have again. Okay. So here, it seems, uh, same data on sales okay now we will be using high fall so the 80 units will be costed based on highest in which is the highest cost here uh, the 6,000 so highest in so February 25 February 25 units at 6,000 so highest in that will be the first to be out and next highest is uh, on January for 35 units Okay, that will be 203,000. So 25 plus 35, that's 60. So there is a 20 units more at 5,700. So that will be 
114,000 for a total of 467,000. So this will be our entry for the uh, cost of goods sold, debit cost of goods sold of 467,000 and credit inventory of 467,000. And again, if we will uh, present this, on the sales of 672,000, less cost of goods of 467, and the gross profit is 205,000 under the HIFO method. Okay, class. Now let us take a look. Okay? Oh, by the way, class, uh, take note that uh, what we are concerned here is the, the, the cost per unit. But as far as the physical uh, item is concerned, like this 35, 25, and 40 units, this can only be in one pot. It is possible that the company is just putting everything in one pot. And it doesn't matter that whether that, that uh, 80 units came from March or February or, or January. It doesn't matter. Uh, in this uh, costing method, what matters is the costing that you are going to use for your cost of goods sold. But as far as to the, uh, uh, the, the, the physical identification of the units, in, in most companies, it does not matter. Dahil pare-parehas lang naman yung, yung item na yun. Okay? So class, now let us have to uh, see what are the effects of the different inventory systems that we have computed on FIPO we have a gross profit of 205,000 LIPO we have a gross profit of 207,000 weighted average of 207,200 and HIFO of 205,000 of course it doesn't mean that every time I mean it, it does not mean that FIPO always provide the lowest uh, gross profit it doesn't mean it just uh, because our information uh, provided such a calculation but it does not speak uh, any general conclusion on this okay class so with that uh, let me know if you have questions bye for now and have a great day